I think that you know, my first fight was was monumental in in terms of the lessons I learned, uh, especially about boxing itself. How I got into boxing was quite organic, and it was very much about okay, I'll give it a go. All right, I'll you know. Do you want me to enter the championship? All right, then I'll have a go. I think I was a product of my own success, I guess. I didn't really think too much about doing it. I'd just done it, and as a result of doing well, it kind of paved another bit of path for me, and then I kind of continued on that journey, and it just kind of followed like that, really, and took me all the way up to GB camp. So, you know, which is, is quite crazy to think, considering that first fight when, you know... I knew so little about boxing and, and it was just very much, OK, let's give it a go. I'm nervous. I'm thinking, why am I doing this? I'm filled with a little bit of doubt and I want people to be proud of me. Most of all, I want to be proud of myself. I hear the crowd building outside and you can hear their reactions to whoever's fighting in the ring and that kind of raises my temperature a little bit again because I'm getting nervous and anxious and also eager to, to get out in the ring because, you know, I want it to be my turn. I want to get in the ring and I just want to get on with the fight. Me and all the, the boys that were boxing were downstairs in the, in the... There's a smaller gym waiting to come up and box. And I remember we were all talking and some of the boys were like, oh, I heard your girls had like six fights or something. And I remember in my head, I just was like panicking. I was like, oh my God, six fights, I haven't even had any. And I think that's when the realization came in that, you know, I'm, I'm going to box and this girl's quite experienced. And I, I guess I let all these kind of voices in my head get the better of me. So I get in the ring and I'm just kind of this bag of energy and I'm kind of, you know, raring to go and the adrenaline's going. And then the bell rings, I come out and, and I'm just going for it. I'm just like a rocket just going off. And uh, I can't remember too much, but I remember people shouting, like cheering for me and that kind of thing. And uh, I remember thinking, oh, you know, I'm doing well. By the third round, it was kind of like I, I'd went from kind of up there with all my energy to like a massive slump, just kind of like had nothing left. In my head, my, you know, my mind saying, you know, put your hands up, keep moving. And, but it, it's like my, it was the weirdest feeling. It was like my arms wouldn't, wouldn't correlate or well, they couldn't connect with what my mind's telling me to do. So I'm getting punched and... And then the, the fight ended and that was it. It was ended. She won and it was just she got the better of me. I came out of the ring and then after I kind of got my energy back and I was, I was kind of chuffed. Like, I've got pictures of that night with me and my coach kind of, you know, arm around him, smiling and, you know, lots of positives and negatives about the whole thing all in one. It was, oh, I lost or, but yeah, you know, I done it, all those kind of things. And I, I needed it. I learned what it felt like to be so, so tired. You feel like you can't even stand up. So tired that you're dazed, that everything looks like a blur. So tired that you, your mind's working, but it's like your, your body doesn't, there's a link missing. So I needed that because otherwise I probably, I can't say I probably wouldn't have gone on to win what I've won, but it definitely gave me a good foundation to know what not to do. So, yeah. I wouldn't recommend losing your first fight, but it worked for me. It definitely worked for me. We can fight our desires. Ooh. Every single fight I've had, win or lose, I've learnt from it. It hasn't been for nothing. Although sometimes at the time, when you have a bad loss, you feel, you feel rubbish. You know, we can be really tough on ourselves and really kind of hard on, on what we, we should have delivered and that kind of thing. But the important thing I think is to take from that is what you've learnt from the loss and, and keep it with you to turn it into something positive, which is quite hard to do. Losing isn't easy, so. But nor is winning, so, you know, both are hard, but it's just how you handle both of them, you know? Even after you've won, it's kind of almost a come down or an anti-climax because it's like, right, back in the gym, when's the next one? So you're kind of like, no, oh, I've won, you know, but you can't, you can't be savouring it too much because you've got, you still got work to do and, you know, it's on to the next thing. 
having spoken about all the different little boxing journeys I've had, the obvious one would be winning gold at the European Union's, the EU's in 2008. Simply because I, I had little expectations, not because I didn't believe in myself, or maybe I didn't as much as I thought I could, but I went there just kind of, just really happy to be there, you know. And then in the end, I think I won my first fight, it was really close. And from there, it was like I had a switch in, in, in my head and it was kind of like, so what if they've had like 60 fights or 100 fights? So you're like, you're here, you're here to, you've trained just as hard, you're here to win, get the medal. And I did, and that was the kind of, you know, it was very much a, a real journey for me in terms of how I, how I kind of focused on, on getting the job done, I guess, and, and kind of believing in myself and, and not listening to the negative voices. I just went in there and was like, so what? Like, I can box, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. So, yeah, and it was cool, it was a good result. I'm going! When I'm in the moment, in the middle of the fight, it's almost a feeling of total peace and silence. And the only voice that I can hear is my own. And it's that feeling of, of you know, almost total, I guess, elation, knowing that you're nearly there, that you've nearly won. You know, trophies are great as well because they're rewards. But I think, I think for me, it's the personal reward as well that, you know, I put my mind to it and trained hard and, and the outcome was a positive one. If 